Previously, we've explored parametric tests for differences when we have two sets of scores. So we've looked at the paired t-test and the independent samples t-test as well. This time, we're going to look at another test for differences, but when we have three or more sets of scores. Now, the research problem I have in front of me on the screen here is looking at the differences in 30 meter sprint time between football players, rugby players and hockey players. So we have three independent groups and they've each performed one 30 meter sprint test each. So we want to know if there is a difference in 30 meter sprint time between these three sport types. So the analysis that we need to run on this data is a analysis of variance and this is a one-way analysis of variance. Now we'll cut straight to the chase and go to the SPSS spreadsheet and notice how I've entered my data. This is in a similar fashion to the independent samples t-test. I've labelled my football as number one, my rugby players number two and my hockey players number three. First column tells me the sport type and then the sprint data that corresponds to each of those sport types goes in the second column. If we go to variable view we need to make sure we change our measures so sport type is nominal data because we've assigned numbers to each of those sport types and sprint time of course is scale data because it's it's time, it's, an, it's a real measurement. In terms of running the analysis then we just click analyze we want to compare the means but rather than a t-test we're going to use this one way ANOVER. Now our factor is our independent variable. So our independent variable in this case is sport type. That's the thing we've manipulated so that needs to go in there. Our dependent variable of course the thing we've measured is sprint time so that needs to go in the dependent list. On the options box we can click some descriptives so we want the means and the standard deviations for sprint time. We've also got this other option here though post hoc. If we click the post hoc box, I'm going to encourage you to click Bonferroni. Now, the post hoc tests tell us where specific differences occur. So the ANOVA itself that we're about to run will tell us if there is a difference between footballers, rugby players and hockey players on this measure of 30 metre sprint time. But it won't tell us which sport types were different to each other. That's what we use the post hoc tests for. And the most rigorous post hoc test is often considered to be the Bonferroni test which is why we've selected it. So we hit continue and then click OK. We're ready to run the analysis and the analysis runs very very quickly. So we've got our descriptive statistics first, we've got our mean sprint times and standard deviation sprint times for groups 1, 2 and 3 and the sports that they correspond to. If we look at the data for the ANOVA all we're really interested in is this between groups level of significance. So the significance value is 0 0.057. So it's greater than 0 0.05. Which means there is no significant difference in 30 meter sprint time between football players, rugby players and hockey players. If we look at the bottom, at the next box, the final box which is multiple comparisons, this multiple comparisons box is produced because we've asked for the post hoc tests. And essentially all that occurs here is each sport type is compared with each other. So we've compared 1 and 2, which is football and rugby, we can see that there is no significant difference. Although it was approaching significance. Uh, 1 compared with 3, no significant difference. And then 2 with 3, no significant difference. And that's how we run a one-way analysis of variance in SPSS.